Morning guys, I hope you are well. I hope this video finds you well, that you are enjoying life, that you've woken up this morning feeling that you can conquer today because Jesus is on your side. Today we are going to look at the last in our fearless devotional series. I hope you have a coffee. I hope you have a notebook or something just to write down what God is saying to you. And we are going to dive into God's word now. Now, fear is something that is prevalent in everyone's life. At some point or not, you are going to fear something, whether it is a situation, a person, a, uh, a situation at work that is coming up or anything, you are going to be afraid at some point. You know, it is a great tool for the enemy to strike fear into the hearts of people. But you know, the Bible says that is actually so against what God wants for us and how God wants us to live our lives. So today I want to quickly, hopefully quickly, just look at a Bible verse and just talk about some things from that that I hope today will help you start your day well and start your day hopefully fearing something a little less than when you started. So let's jump into the Bible. Isaiah 41 verse 10 says fear not for i am with you be not dismayed for i am your god i will strengthen you i will help you i will uphold you with my righteous right hand you know there's so many promises or like bits that god actually puts on his part in that verse and there's very few for us you know all it says there is fear not for us and don't be dismayed the rest of it god says he will do i am with you i will help you i am your god i will uphold you with my righteous right hand those are such great things you know all of us fear something in life as i said earlier all of us have different things you know Jeanette and Tim, who have done ones previously, shared something of theirs. You know, for me, I grew up with a massive fear of failure. I hated to fail at things. I used to work, well, hardish at things. The only thing I was seemed to be okay with failing was school. But I did. I got through in the end, as some of us do. Oh, well, anyway, I did all right. But I used to hate the idea of failing at things it used to strike fear into my heart what would people say what would i think of myself if i failed and you know that sometimes crept into my relationship with god is actually when i would sin that actually there would be things within me of i have failed him i have failed in this journey you know i am so passionate about my journey with christ and pushing myself to be more like christ daily but I used to be so afraid of failing in that. But there are so many promises from God. So many times that he strikes into our heart. Do not be afraid. Don't be scared. You know, it, it is said that, and it depends on how people translate certain things. But it is said that in the Bible it says, do not fear 366 times. That is one for every day including a leap year. You know, every single day, there's a Bible verse that we can read different where God says, do not fear. And a lot of those are accompanied with, for I am with you. And you know, as we go into today, I don't care what your situation is. I don't care really what is happening because I can tell you no matter what that situation is and no matter what is happening and what you are afraid of or or scared of he is with you he is with you and so that changes everything because in this verse here let me just open it back up it says <clears throat> where on earth have I put it there we go fear not for I am with you do not be dismayed for I am your God I will strengthen you you know, I'm not a gym goer, as you can tell. But you know, as a young baby grows up and gets stronger, 
that takes time it takes days it takes years and as a person who's trying to get in shape or be able to lift a certain weight it's not like they go to the gym for the first day try it and suddenly they're strong it, it, it is a process over time and so my encouragement for you today is you may not end this day like without any fear about anything but my heart and my hope for you today is is that you can just bring this to god start your day going i want to fear this less tomorrow than i do today because he is strengthening you and so slowly he's going to give poor strength upon you slowly he's going to help you into situations why because he is with you he will uphold you with his right hand so when you may fall doing this or when when you suddenly go back to be, fear just gripping you that is okay because although you feel like you may have fallen or you feel like you may be back trapped by fear let me tell you he is holding you so you don't fall and so today i really hope and i pray that just today set yourself a goal if you cannot tackle whatever the fear is in your life then go to god and say i want to fear this less tomorrow because he is your god he is with you he will strengthen you and he is upholding you with his right hand i hope you have a great day guys i love you and hopefully see you soon mm -hmm.